the zodiac sign of Capricorn, the 22nd of December to the 20th of January, is symbolized by the goat. Capricorn is associated with the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, which typically falls around December the 21st. This marks the shortest day and longest night of the year, symbolizing the point of deepest darkness before the gradual return of light. Capricorn, as an astrological sign, is represented by the symbol of the goat, often depicted as the goatfish, a creature with an upper body of a goat and the lower body of a fish. Capricorn is Latin for horned goat. Capricorn is ruled by the planet Saturn, which is associated with discipline, structure, ambition and responsibility. In the context of the Wheel of the Year, Capricorn embodies themes of endurance, resilience and perseverance through challenging times. As the winter solstice approaches, there is a sense of turning inward, introspection and preparation for the colder months ahead. Capricorn's influence encourages us to set goals, establish boundaries and take practical steps towards achieving our ambitions. During this time, traditional celebrations such as Yule, Christmas and New Year's Eve take place, marking both the end of one year and the beginning of another. These festivities reflect themes of renewal, hope and the promise of brighter days to come, echoing the Capricornian qualities of determination and forward thinking. Evidence of these festivals dates back to the Neolithic era. For instance, Stonehenge hosted grand feasts to celebrate the solstice, marked by sunset gatherings. In Ireland's New Grange, the passage and inner chamber illuminate with the sunrise on the solstice. Similar celestial alignments are observed at other sites, like Maestow in Orkney and Calanish in the Isle of Lewis. Later cultures continued midwinter celebrations. In Egypt, the birth of Horus was honored for 12 days during midwinter, paralleled by the Babylonians' 12-day festival, renewing Marduk. The Romans indulged in Saturnella, a festivity filled with abundant food, drink, gift exchanges, and playful antics. Scandinavian and Germanic cultures embraced Yule, a 12-day festival featuring the Yule goat. Contrary to Thor's goat-related tales, the tradition symbolized preserving the last sheaf of harvest grain, ensuring life's continuation into the new year. Overall, Capricorn in the Wheel of the Year represents a time of introspection, goal setting, and laying groundwork for future success. Even amidst the darkness of winter, it invites us to embrace discipline, responsibility and the wisdom gained through experience. Capricornus is one of the smaller constellations in the sky. It is located in the southern celestial hemisphere and is visible from latitudes between plus 60 degrees and minus 90 degrees. It is often depicted as a goat with the tail of a fish. The brightest star in Capricornus is called Deneb al Jidi, which is Arabic for the tail of the goat. It is a binary star system composed of two stars, located approximately 39 light years away from Earth. The constellation Capricornus lies near the centre of the Milky Way galaxy, which means it offers excellent views of the dense star fields and stellar nurseries within our galaxy when observed from Earth. Capricornus itself doesn't contain any messier objects, a catalogue of astronomical objects. It lies closer to Messier 30, a globular cluster located about 28,000 light years away from Earth. The Caprinoids meteor shower which occurs annually between the July the 15th and August the 15th, appears to radiate from the direction of Capricornus. The meteor shower is known for producing bright fireballs. The glyph represents the mythical sea goat 
which shows the civilizing nature of the sign. Goats have the distinction of being among the earliest animals to be domesticated, a process believed to have begun roughly 10,000 years ago. Their primary ancestor is thought to be the wild Bezoar ibex, which inhabited the region, encompassing the Zagros Mountains in Iran, Iraq and Turkey. However, wild goats of different species can be found across the globe and are often depicted in ancient artworks. Remarkably, evidence of goats in human culture extends far back in history. Some of the oldest cave paintings, discovered at Chauvet in France, dating back to 30,000 BCE, feature a diverse array of creatures. Among them is the occasional depiction of an ibex. Iran has an extensive collection of rock art, or petroglyphs, spanning 40,000 years of human history. Nearly 90% of these sites showcase depictions of the ibex. While the ages of these artworks vary, ranging from more recent examples dating back 4,000 years to evidence suggesting ibex hunting as early as 8,000 BCE and possibly even earlier. The ancient cultures of Mesopotamia, which contributed to the rise of Sumer, produced vast quantities of pottery adorned with images of ibexes and goats, often depicted alongside plants or a tree of life, as well as celestial symbols like stars and suns. These creatures featured on pottery dating back to around 5,500 BCE, as evidenced in artifacts found in places like Hasuna. In particular, a notable bowl from this period features ibexes arranged in a circular formation around a central turning axis, presenting an early rendition of a swastika symbol. The discovery of this bowl, containing the remains of a newborn baby, suggests that its symbolism was associated with concepts of death and rebirth. The central axis is interpreted as an abstract representation of the world tree or world mountain, symbolizing the connection between heaven and earth and the pathway along which the souls journey after death. Depictions of goats and ibexes alongside trees were closely associated with the ancient goddess cults of the Neolithic era. Serving as symbols of fertility and renewal, their distinctive curved horns representing the crescent moon linked them to the cyclical rhythms of life and death in nature. An intriguing example comes from a bowl unearthed in a grave in Burnt City in Iran, dating back to around 3200 BCE. In this context, the goat depicted on the bowl may symbolize the mother goddess, Mukum, revered in the Haramosh Valley in Pakistan, which maintained connections with Burnt City through the Indus Valley culture. Notably, this bowl is thought to be one of the earliest instances of animation in human history. Its panels depict a Persian desert ibex in motion leaping to consume the leaves of a tree in a continuous sequence that encircles the bowl, akin to a primitive flip book. As I already mentioned, Capricorn symbology is often associated with the festive season. And here we see one fascinating character whose goat-like features are very fitting. Grampus is a figure from Central European folklore particularly prominent in alpine regions, such as Austria, Germany, and parts of Switzerland. He is depicted as a horned, anthropomorphic creature with hooves, often described as a companion of Saint Nicholas. While Saint Nicholas rewards good children with gifts, Grampus is said to punish naughty children during the Christmas season. Grampus is often depicted as a dark, hairy creature with horns, cloven hooves, and a long pointed tongue. He is usually depicted carrying chains, bells, and a bundle of birch branches, called a wutan or grampupuso, which he uses to swat naughty children. Grampus is considered an antithesis of Saint Nicholas, or Santa Claus. While Saint Nicholas rewards well-behaved children with gifts, 
Grampus is said to punish those who have been naughty or misbehaved throughout the year. He is sometimes portrayed as the one who accompanies Saint Nicholas during his annual visits to deliver presents, serving as a warning to children to behave. The origins of Grampus can be traced back to pre-Christian folklore in Alpine regions. He is often associated with pagan winter solstice rituals, and as was often the case as Christianity spread, pagan horned gods were deemed devils and the opposite of good. Over time, the figure of Grampus became intertwined with Christian traditions surrounding Saint Nicholas and Christmas. In Greek mythology, the constellation of Capricorn was associated with several intriguing figures. One such figure is Prikus, identified as the father of the sea goats. Prikus, an immortal being created by Kronos, resided in the sea and governed over time. However, his offspring, the little sea goats, proved to be a challenge. Despite Prikus's efforts to prevent them from venturing onto the land by reversing time, they persisted in their curious escapades, transforming into ordinary goats upon setting foot on land, thus losing their ability to reason and communicate. Left alone and despondent, Prikus eventually pleaded with Kronos to end his immortal existence leading to his placement among the stars. Another possible candidate for the Capricorn constellation is Almalthia, the goat who nurtured Zeus during his infancy. Zeus, the son of Rhea and Kronos, who had a habit of eating his children, was hidden from Kronos' wrath by Rhea, who tricked Kronos into swallowing a stone instead of Zeus. Raised in secret with Almalthia, Zeus later overthrew Cronus to become the king of the gods. In gratitude, Zeus immortalized Almalthia among the stars as Capella, the goat star, within the Eureka constellation. Pan, the Greek god of the wild with goat-like features, and his counterpart, Engipan, meaning goat pan, also figure into the Capricorn mythos. In one tale, Angipan aids Zeus during a battle by transforming into a goatfish, reflecting the sea goat motive associated with Capricorn. Pan himself holds significance in ancient Greek mythology, predating the Olympian gods and symbolizing the primal forces of nature associated with fertility cults and the earth. Pan's mythological tales often depict his playful demeanor, his association with Rhea, the ancient mother goddess, and his wild exploits alongside fauns and satyrs. In ancient Sumerian mythology, Capricorn is associated with the god Anki, who was often depicted as a half goat, half fish creature. Anki was the god of wisdom, magic, and fresh water. The constellation may have been seen as a representation of his dual nature, symbolizing the connection between the earthly and watery realms. Anki's creation, Oans, was the first man among the Abgal, credited with imparting civilization to humanity. These Abgal were ancient entities portrayed as hybrids, part man and part fish, or as humans garbed in fish attire. Residing in the depths of the ocean, they ventured onto land to disseminate their wisdom and teachings, learning the epithet of the seven sages, akin to the Indian mythology parallel, the Septarashi. This of course was allegory for the serpent bloodline, who evolved from water apes, who created modern humans by mixing their genes with that of land apes. There are stories of these aquatic beings all around the globe, from when the serpent bloodline would travel to and help emerging or evolving tribes. In Egypt, the goat-headed god, Knum, is a significant link between goats, water, and the genesis of life. Regarded as the source of the Nile, Knum shaped humanity from clay on his potter's wheel. Furthermore, Egyptian pharaohs adorned themselves with ceremonial false goat beards crafted from genuine goat hair, symbolizing their divine authority. In Chinese mythology, the constellation Capricorn is often associated with the black tortoise of the north, 
one of the four symbols representing cardinal directions and celestial guardians, the black tortoise, is depicted as a serpent-tailed creature resembling a turtle or tortoise and is associated with longevity and protection. In Babylonian astrology, Capricorn is associated with the god Ea, who was depicted as a goatfish hybrid. Ea was the god of wisdom, magic and the waters. The constellation may have been seen as a representation of his attributes and influence over the cosmic order. Of course, this was a later version of Anki. Capricorn is the steadfast guardian and wise elder of the zodiac, symbolized by the mountain goat, scaling the heights of ambition. Capricorn embodies discipline, ambition, and the pursuit of mastery. Ruled by Saturn, the planet of structure and responsibility, Capricorn channels the energy of perseverance, resilience, and achievement. Capricorn symbolizes the journey of self-mastery, the ascent from the depths of material existence to the heights of spiritual attainment. Like the mountain goat ascending the craggy peaks, Capricorn invites us to transcend our earthly limitations, embody our divine potential, and manifest our highest aspirations in the world. Corresponding to the human body, Capricorn governs the skeletal system, skin, and knees. Air is rich in symbolic significance within esoteric teachings. The skeletal system, symbolic of structure and support, represents the framework upon which our physical existence is built. It is through the bones that we find stability and endurance, grounding us in earthly experience and providing a solid foundation for growth and evolution. The skin, symbolic of boundaries and protection, represents the outermost layer of our being, the interface between self and other, inner and outer worlds. The skin shields us from external influences and guards our inner sanctum. The knees, symbolic of humility and surrender, embody the willingness to bend and yield to higher forces. Like the mountain goat navigating treacherous terrain, the knees enable us to adapt to the challenges of life, bending but never breaking as we ascend towards our highest aspirations. In esoteric lore, Capricorn is associated with the process of initiation, the rites of passage through which the soul evolves and ascends to higher levels of consciousness. It is through the trials and tribulations of Capricorn that we confront our fears, overcome our limitations, and emerge transformed, reborn and empowered. Through the energy of Capricorn, we can embrace the path of self-mastery and spiritual attainment, cultivate discipline, perseverance, and resilience in the pursuit of our goals. As we honor the esoteric essence of Capricorn, we recognize the sacredness of the journey, the timeless quest for mastery, enlightenment, and union with the divine.